I'm Pat Conkey. I was an evangelical pastor in Minnesota for 20 years, and I've been active my whole life in the pro-life movement and as a conservative Republican voter ever since Ronald Reagan. I stayed out of politics the whole time I was a pastor, but I'm speaking out now because so many evangelical leaders are supporting Donald Trump. And I have to ask, how did we start by serving a man who hung naked on a cross, but ended up serving Donald Trump? I've heard lots of Christians say that they can't speak out against Trump because they say an attack on authority anywhere is an attack on authority everywhere. And I just have to say that that's whacked theology. That's an authoritarian distortion of scripture. Christians have to resist being used to justify things that Jesus would never justify. This president is using us and he's, he's playing on our tribal fears in order to stay in power. I've always defended him when people have called him a fascist on technical grounds because I've said that fascism requires an organizing principle underneath it that's, that's larger than the leader's ambition. But lately I've heard Christians say that, that Trump is God's chosen man to protect the Christian church. And I find that really troubling. When, when he used force to clear Lafayette Park and to stand in front of St. John's, at that point, you could fairly say that he was still just a reality star orchestrating an event. But the moment that he held up that Bible, he revealed his organizing principle and he revealed that, that it's to protect white evangelical culture. In that moment, he revealed himself as a fascist. In 2016, I didn't vote for Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump. But in 2020, I'm voting for Joe Biden because Christians cannot be complicit in what this president is doing.